Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing today? Welcome to Get Your Paint On. My name is Jordan Lamb. Here with my wonderful co-hosts, Tony Konacek and Josh. Hello. Hello. Good morning. So, a couple things. Thanks for coming back. I know it's been a while. We've been kind of off and on. We've been super busy with Adapticon and uh, vacations and being sick. And it's, it's a dangerous place around here these days. Everybody's kind of out. Everybody's out. Everybody's out. I, wa- I walked into work then Monday. I thought work was closed. Nobody was here. It was we, crazy. It we, was a ghost town. We have like nine patient, patient zeros walking yeah. around. Yeah. It's horrifying. It's spreading. I've managed to avoid it thus far. Yeah. I got sick while I was on vacation, but only for like a day or two. That's That's always the worst. Um, But anyways, a couple of things. Uh, Some announcements. We got our stream schedule coming up. Um, Just kind of usual. We got Dev Hangout on Wednesdays at 10 10 a.m. Obviously, we got your Get Your Paint On Thursdays at 10 a.m. Uh, staff showdown. We just finished one. I believe it was last week. Last Friday, right? Yeah. And we have uh, we have to figure out when the next one's going to be. Yeah, we're going to be figuring out when that one's coming down. And then Primecast Live, April nineteenth at ten a.m. as well. That's tomorrow. that's tomorrow. Which is oh hey, that is in fact tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm paying a lot of attention <laughs> to, the, to the time. Yeah, and if you missed the um, uh, Dev Hangout yesterday, they uh, they talked about uh, the new the contents for Oblivion. Oblivion. Yeah, the Oblivion CID opened up. Heck yeah, it's good stuff. So go Excited. if you haven't if you haven't seen it, go on Twitch and. Uh, Watch the uh, the VOD there. Awesome. Uh, we also have Danny's Hobby and Terrain blog, uh, Privateer Press, uh, Privateer underscore Press underscore Terrain. Uh, Danny updates this almost daily. I, I think he's been kind of busy lately. He hasn't gotten a chance to update it as frequently as he usually does. He's been out of town. He's also been out of town. Very busy boy. Uh, but he updates it very frequently with all of the terrain stuff that he's typically working on. So it's going to be the new table for Infernals that you can see kind of the core element that he's working on right there. We also um, have the standard <coughs> Instagram for Privateer Press as well. Mm-hmm. Ooh. We've been updating Ooh, all uh, right. and after a bit of a hiatus. With Social some, media, Josh, tell us all about it. Oh, just, uh, well, you know, I don't want to say too much, but I mean, we've been experimenting a few thing with a few things on there and um, some posts that uh, might be hinting at some Archon stuff and before anyone else got to see it. So if you like early teasers, feel free to check up our, our Instagram. Nobody likes early teasers. Yeah. Early teasers are great. Uh, we also have Mini Crate. Mini Crate. As usual, we have uh, last week to order the... Um, God, I cannot remember the name of the... The Ancestral right Guardian Ancestral Angel. Guardian. Uh, Special Guardian Angel. Guardian Angel. Yes, I'm sorry. It's who will a make morning? All right. Who will make a very <laughs> good uh, proxy for the Void Archon for Scorn? Just saying. Nah, dude. Void Archon model is sick. I mean, it is. But I'm saying, if you want, if you want two, if you have two, if you want to field two of them, and then your Scorn army, and Special Guardian Angel. Also, I, like the, I, I feel like the Void, Ar- Void Archon is just going to be bigger. Oh, you know what? Maybe that is true. Just yeah. slap. I mean, it's on the same. S- Size base, right? No, no, it's a, it's no, on it's, it's on medium. Base. But you know yeah. what? Slap him on a large base and go to town. <laughs> yep. And then is uh, Bayushi showed you right? Is still who, who do we got? Who do we got? You, you forgot? Tony. No, I'm I'm like hunching down. Sorry, Tony. Um, we're adjusting here. Don't 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 worry about us. Um, I will find. Oh. It is Coyote Kosori of the Phoenix Clan. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Josh. You're very welcome. Thank my, you uh, for picking up my slack yet again. <laughs> my, uh, my information on the sheet here is not correct. No, it's that's my, that's my fault. Anymore. It's been a bit of a week here, down. ladies and gentlemen, friends. Um, yeah, it's all right. It's all right, though. But we still have the VIP subscription mm-hmm. model, which is Bride of Arcadius, which is one of my favorite models that we released for Minicrate so far. Uh, and, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to to getting everybody all excited about that. And the VIP so. for L5R is the Naga Hunter. It's the Naga Hunter. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Which is also a dope model. Dope. <coughs> uh, all right, so on to what today's model is going to be about. Uh, as you guys can see, we have the Grave Ghoul. Ooh, spooky. Um, I have not yet painted one of these. I'm excited to mess so around you, with it for the first time. So you haven't even painted the studio one? Mm-mm. Nope, nope, not yet. We are... Um. Yeah, been busy with other stuff. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of stuff coming. We have a lot of stuff down oh the road. Oh boy, we got a lot of um, stuff coming. But let me tell you, I've been working on it. It's super sweet, and it's really exciting. And I look forward to showing you guys that stuff later, at a later date. But today, got Grave Ghoul. Uh, I have no idea what colors I'm going to use on this. 
Uh, I can tell you what color I'm not going to be using is Daymar Black. <laughs> Boom. Uh, we don't have any up here in the, the upstairs studio right now. And you know what? I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get it. So, so it's we're no, no <laughs> Black fun. Thursday. Today is no, no black, black Thursday. No Black no, Thursday. No Black Paint Thursday. Hashtag No Black Thursday. No Black Paint Thursday. <clears throat> um, yeah. So we're going to get started on this. Uh, one thing that Tony does have for us, um, I know we talked very briefly a couple of weeks ago now about my uh, my painting um, playlist. Right, Spotify yeah. Playlist, yeah, yeah. Which I have provided to Tony, and he will be linking somewhere. I will I will put it in. At some point. In the chats um, right now. Cool. And then I've got another one we'll for SoundCloud, which yeah, we're not going to show today. We'll, we'll, later. Sh- we'll show that one on a different day. But talk um, a little bit about like what you know what it is about this this playlist? playlist that you like. So this is like a collection of music that I've put together over the last like I don't know ten years. No, no. Hold on, hold on. Math is hard. Uh, eight. No. Yeah, about ten years um, of music that I've just kind of been enjoying. Generally speaking, I'm a I'm kind of into electronic music. Go figure. I'm 25. What do you expect? <coughs> but anyways, um, it's got a, a lot of genres in there, a lot of good stuff. So if you guys are interested in it at all, feel free to take a look. Um, my SoundCloud playlist, which I'm going to hopefully show next week, um, is a lot more up to date with newer stuff that I tend to listen to on a more frequent basis. I'm more of a Spotify or Less of a Spotify guy, more of a uh, SoundCloud guy these days. So <coughs> um, that'll be cool. That'll be a lot more different. There's weirder stuff in there. But it's still sweet electronic music. So we'll get back to that later. Hopefully you guys enjoy uh, as much as I do that playlist. And uh, let's get to painting. Um, so this is one of those paint jobs where I'm going to take feedback from the chat as to what I'm gonna, what color I'm gonna paint stuff. And because, you know what, I have no idea, <laughs> and my brain's only half turned on right now, so I'm gonna let it, everybody else be my brain. What color are we gonna paint this guy's cloak? This is this is super off the cuff today. This is, you know what, I'm having fun with it. Yeah. We're just gonna go, we're gonna go at it. Can we throw some purple in there for Grimkin? Okay, some kind of purple. all right, all right. We'll take, we'll take some recommendations from, from Josh here. What uh, do you have any? Do you have any parameters for people to start giving you some hints? Like, do you want to start with the coke? Do you or the the cloak? Do you want some start with the overall cloak. color start. idea? Okay, so overall color idea, cloak, and um, aside from that, no, we can kind of do whatever. Like I said, I'm I'm not I don't have plans for this right now. We're just gonna paint for an hour. And we're gonna have fun doing it. Some beaten purple. <coughs> some beaten purple. Yeah. All right, I got some beaten purple here. Or do we want to make fancier purple? Oh my God, can we do fancy purple? Can, can you show? Fancy purple? Can you show us how to make some fancy purple? Well, we I did think that last week, right? Papa Jordan. Papa did, Jordan. I ain't no Papa. We did that with what color? Did we do that. Well, no, we, a, did, we did it with a uh, with the. Uh, it's murderous magenta yeah. and uh, arcane blue. You right. want to you want to make some magenta and cyan? Together. Right. Man, we're getting all sorts of colors: yellow, green. Deep red. I got warm. Warm purple. side. The warms. We got Frothy Cat says uh, wants to stay on the warm side of the color wheel. Yeah, that'd be cool. warm side of the color wheel. Yeah. Cool. So warm, right, warm right. purple, red, orange, and yellow. Now, orange. Warm oh man, that'd be good. Like, like maybe some orange lining. Yeah. Like, oh, that'd be like some Halloweeny kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. That's see, I like that because uh, that's that kind of links in with uh, with something we're going to take a look at later. Okay. I don't even know what Tony's talking about. Right you do now. know what I'm talking about. I bet I do, but I definitely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I've given I you no context, forgot. so there's we're missing the the connection. Sweet. All right. Well, we'll figure this out. All right. So I just mixed a little bit of murderous magenta and some arcane blue. We we'll use that here for our base coat. This is a little bit of a to the warmer side, as Frothy Cat prefers. And we're just gonna we're just gonna get in there. Let's have some fun with it. Alec, uh, M. Luda is saying beaten purple with deathless metal is a great one. Uh, is that anything that you've ever done before? I'm having kind of a hard time picturing that what that looks like in my head without seeing it on a model. Um, is that like Alec? Is do you mean I think the it purple like the mixed purple. together? No, or I think he means like as a color. As a scheme. color over yeah. deathless metal or the two together. I think he means a scheme. I think yeah, probably a scheme. 
Because that's a metallic and a not and a like an opaque like color, right? Because beaten purple is like purple, and deathless metal is like a really dark mm-hmm. brownish. And, and as Brown. always, you're starting out pretty pretty thin, right? Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna we're just gonna build the colors up with the highlights and the shades, and it'll build opacity with that. Um, that's another thing that like will help you guys paint a little bit faster. Is you don't always have to get like a really solid first coat. Um, you can build shades and highlights with the opacity of your base coat. So if you want to keep, like especially if you're painting with a black primed model, right? You can build shades and highlights in by saturating the color more by giving it more layers of base coat, which is what I'm going to do on this cloak. Is I'm going to paint these like raised edges here and build up the op- opacity so it's more opaque and more saturated and leave the recesses a little bit more translucent, um, which will help and it will give us more kind of definition <coughs> in contrast without having to use different colors of paint. Does that tie into what you you're telling us last time or in another recent episode um, about uh, not having to fully even base coat portions of the model so that rather yeah. than base coating an entire area you just base coat where the base coat is going to um it's a little be different visible. right so th- i'm still base coating the whole model here um but i'm using my base coat as a shade and a base coat at the same time okay by using one color to build more opacity and like saturation in one area than than another okay i'm definitely liking that purple color Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it's not it's not uh it's vibrant, but it's not pow in your right. face. Yeah, it kind of keeps with that uh, that Grimkin theme of like desaturation. <clears throat> it's um, not quite as vibrant. Sure. Uh, let's see. So I got Alec came back. So mixed together. So Alec is saying so beaten purple with deathless no matter mixed. M- not mixed together. Yeah, so like a, a Yeah, just a, that color scheme. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it gives you a beautiful shiny purple. Oh, nice. So is that so, Alec? Do you mean that you layer on the purple over the deathless metal? Oh, it does mean mixed. He means no okay. mixed with mixing me. Oh no, okay, with mixing me. Yeah, okay. no comma mixed. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Interesting. All right, I have to try that one. Sparkly purple. Legionnaires, Josh, on the subject of the Thamorites in Oblivion, Crow isn't a Thamorite. He's just an evil murderer, correct? <coughs> moving on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Look at that nice purple. Oh, look at this. That's a nice purple. Beautiful grape ghoul. Oh, look. I mean, I will say this. I will say this. Like, um, I think the egg's on the chat, so I can't say too much or I'll get uh, slapped. Um, but, I mean, you think a guy that, like, gets, like, you know, hangs around with a bunch of cutthroats, gets shot at, and always gets missed. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> someone else, like you think that's just luck. You know what I'm saying? Like you think there was nothing ever going on there? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's just a magical boy. Maybe okay? he's just a yeah. lucky, lucky boy. Maybe the next one's got his name on it. Maybe I, you know, that's tr- maybe yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like even Kane, even Alistair Kane uh-huh. in Doug Seacat's great book, Blood of Kings, took a shot at crow and missed and hit one of he, he he's like i hit crow but it look but then he looks it was one of crow's cutthroats you know because that's his rule you know that's that's the rule on the, the t- but how, how does that happen how do you think that happens you know how do you whatever just pick up oblivion guys just pick up oblivion it's gonna be a good it's gonna be dope it's gonna be a really good book i'm gonna i'm Super gonna hyped. take I, I think he uses the uh karate kid 2 defense just don't be there just the don't be there bullets yeah. coming at you don't just be where don't the be bullet's there. gonna be and he is very good at that he is very good at that all right, so we're throwing in some beaten purple now into this shade. We're just going to m- play with this until I'm happy with where it's at. Oh, sure, Doug can say more stuff than me, but I'm not allowed <laughs> to. Whatever. <laughs> Doug's always going, <laughs> swooping in and taking the credit. But so, so, Josh, do you, can you tell us a little bit about this Grave Ghoul? Oh, what sure. like what is a grave ghoul? Well, it's funny because Sea Cat wrote the the sweet background on him, 
So maybe I can take the credit from him for once. I can take his glory. How about that? Well, I don't think that I don't think you can do that if you if you say that he made it in the first. Damn place. it! You have to take did, the did credit I say that out first. Loud? Yeah. Did I say that out and loud? And then when Doug man? says that was me, oh, then you just no. change the subject. Oh no! I'm, I'm, maybe Doug will just give it to you. I'm not. I'm not cool. Um, but the the idea is essentially that they're like um, they're kind of like shadow playing at the the undertaker's job in the iron kingdoms right like they're just like rimkin who are fascinated with death right because they don't understand what it is right right so they kind of go around and they kind of like faux pretend to like 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 they'll bury lesser grimkin like for fun right because they think it's just a funny thing as a pastime yeah they just think it's funny right i guess see some gremlins giggling as they're being right exactly buried alive (laughs) um they're also, they're, they're also the ones that drive the death knell wagons. It's the same. Right, right. It's the same okay. creature. Um, some of them just kind of like go on foot, and some of them ride the the horrible death knell with that horrible, <laughs> sad horse that I really get sad <laughs> looking at all the time. That is one of the saddest models, man. I, it is. I, it's it is just, sad because because it's, it's like a Grimkin horse, so it's not dead, but it just looks really like. Sad. sad man, like oh god, this looks really sad. Um, they are especially drawn to the f- to the fresh dead, um, and uh, they enjoy using their shovels to unearth bodies to display uh, to display to their peers or partially burying other grimkin. Right, so they literally will show up and like unbury, like exhume the freshly dead, and then just be like, hey, look at this weird thing. Look at this weird. <laughs> just like hold it up for everybody yeah. to see, like this is this is cool. Yeah, and then the and then the 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 other group are like, wow, that is weird. Like, what did wonder what happened? I wonder what 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 that did. Do they go around like my kids go around, just picking up rocks? Uh, everywhere, yeah, it's kind of like, like bodies. Yeah. They just yeah. find them and just be like, hey, yeah, look at this. Like, I'm gonna just put this in your pocket. And hold that for me. Oh, here's another one right there. Yeah, like a cat showing you a dead bird. Yeah, like, kind of like present to yeah. you. Yeah, um, but there's there's like a sense of like there's like a sense of like playfulness to it um but um so and i i think it would probably and see i can correct me if i'm wrong but i think like they still have different personalities right so some of them are more wicked than others right like some grave girls i can see them being more like having more malice towards you know humans and their customs and kind of mocking them while some of the other ones are just kind of more innocent and they're just confused right and legitimately like they don't know that they're doing anything bad right like poor aunt bertha is dead, and then like you look out into the graveyard, and there's Bertha's corpse mm-hmm. dancing in the moonlight with some weird <laughs> creepy guy in a hat <laughs> laughing. He doesn't mean anything by it. He just doesn't know what's going on. They're just yeah. creatives. They're just cre- artists. They're, they're, they're artists. Say, yes, the the grave ghouls <laughs> are just hardworking creatives of the Grimkin army. Yeah, they're I, artisans. I did. I did have, just have this image though of of hearing a knock at the door late at night, mm-hmm. going to open it up, looking down, corpse. On the front porch, right, and then, and then, in confusion, looking out further into the yard to see the silhouette and the glowing eyes of a grave ghoul, right, and and with no malice, just giving me the uh, thumbs up finger point, like that's for you, buddy. Yeah, it's like, oh, you dropped this in the earth, yeah. like you. Uh, well, what does that's what'd weird. You, what'd you think of that? It's that, pretty cool. It's like I got this. I brought this back to you. you. Keep it. Yeah, keep you take it. Take it. Um, uh, Rikers Iron is the ghoul out now. It comes out in May. The Grave Crow comes out next month. Came up with some ideas, so I'm just going with it. What you What you got? What you got? We're, we're gonna do oh, some look sweet at that. OSL on this guy. See that blue looks I love awesome that blue. with that purple. I love that blue, Jordan. That's a great like color for the like the creepy. That's why I love about the Grimkin. I love that desaturated pale mm-hmm. colors for the lighting. Yeah, they're not as like it's not. Uh, I haven't seen a. Uh, from memory, at least, like they don't feel very uh, like they've seen a lot of of models with vibrant, sure. bright coloring on right. them. Right, doesn't mean they're not out there. Right, I just like the the approach that people in the community take with them. Yeah. They're gloomy. They're gloomy. They're gloomy boys. Look at that nice purple. Now, Jordan, are you gonna go? Uh are you going to put the extra effort in and get some of that blue glow? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're doing OSL. OSL. We're okay. doing OSL. Yep. Oh, I we're, love that. We're getting in there. We're Taking do that. it to the max. 
And if you can't, it's because it's kind of hard to see right away if you're not if you're not looking really closely. Those two sacks that are that are draped across his back are in fact not sacks; they are corpses. Oh. Yeah, those Wrapped are definitely corpses. dead people. <laughs> definitely, just dead carrying people. them around. Yeah, 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 uh, man. Corpse postal service. That's what they do. Here you go. Here's your corpse. Yeah, I brought this for you. Okay, I got it. All right. So for the shade, I did some. Um, Coal black. And then for highlight, we're going to mix some carnal pink into the purple mixture. That we I, I should probably start doing some colors. So you said coal black? Yeah. You guys were talking. I didn't want to interrupt. So we're just going <laughs> to. It's like. I just kept it, going. It's like, it's your guys' show. I didn't want to interrupt, you know, your random <laughs> it's, nonsense. I'm, it's, you know, it's my face on camera. It's fine. It's, it's about uh, painting, but. And I'm a painter. And what but, I'm doing on camera. But, but no, you guys fine. just no, keep no, talking. No, no, talk about stupid. Stick about cats or something. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm just a nice guy. What, what was say? the second color, Jordan? Uh, carnal pink for the highlights carnal and then pink. coal black for the shades. <clears throat> Oh, that didn't work out that time. Pachow. That did not work. And I'm just being pretty, pretty rough and, and sketchy with this, so it's not going to be super clean, but it's going to definitely. We're going to put all the colors where they need to be, and then we'll we'll refine it later. Hey, man, rough and sketchy was my middle school middle name. Whoa, Josh. Reference sketchy. Rough, rough, and rough sketchy. and sketchy. So it's one of the other things that like is a good idea to do when you're like learning to paint or you're just practicing painting more. Tony and I had a conversation about this the other day where like just put the paint on the model. It doesn't have to be like super fancy. It doesn't have to be really technical. Just put the colors where you want them to be. And then that'll give you an overall sense of like, it's just a sketch, right? It's like sketching, like, you know, doing life sketches or uh, what, what have you. It's 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 good practice to kind of just get a feel for where things are. Yeah, you just kind of worry about the details later. Get the broad strokes in. Yeah, exactly. See how I feel about it. Yep. Check and then you know, check your emotions. Mm -hmm. Do I like this? Do I not like this? Why or why not? Saget Bob says, "Love the colors so far. Thanks for sharing your work." Oh, well, thank you for, for joining and participating in us having some, some fun this morning. So speaking of sharing work. Ooh, ooh. What a segue. Nice yeah, segue. you like that? What a segue. Like he's a professional. I was like, I got to work on my segues. I don't segue very well. I, I heard you doing that at lunch the other day, just like whenever you heard anyone say anything, you'd be like, speaking of blah, 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 and then <laughs> just as, as practice, and I respect it. Well, but see, the great part about it is it's it's flawless. You can just say, speaking of, and then I just say whatever I want after right. that, and you just assume that it relates somehow. Right, but right, by right. the time I'm deep into my anecdote, uh, you haven't figured you've, that for, yet. you've yeah. forgotten why yeah. I was talking in the first place. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right, let's take a look at these. So we got we went to our hashtag P3 Painters, mm -hmm. and we've been getting a lot of submissions. They keep coming in, so thank you to everybody who has been sending them in. And we're going to take a look at these. So, Jordan, if you want to yeah, yeah, yeah. pause me, for a second, take a pause look. for a moment. I'm going to bring up the first one. So <sighs> we have this Lucas Demore. Look, yeah. at him, look at him Ace go. Of paint. This is nice. I like seeing actual green instead of, like, teal. Like I like the teal a lot, but... It's th this green is really nice, and this is kind of a, a really good example of like simple and efficient, right? It's like there's not a ton of like super fancy blends or anything, but like the colors are really, really representative of like what where things are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So like highlights and shadows and things like that, and it just looks really nice. I also I'm noticing here too that on the left side of the face up there, there's a little bit of OSL. So mm -hmm. this got a little magical mm -hmm. glow from that ham. It's very subtle, which is nice. I like it. Ace of Paint, well done. Keep on, keep on working hard. Get in there. Get it done. All right, we got this next one, which is Tanith's cloak. cloak. God, that's really nice. Wow. Yeah, I like this a lot. Wow. This is like a nice, very, like, I like that this person's taking the effort of painting it away from the model. I like that. I like to see that. I don't do it very much because I'm super lazy. <laughs> <laughs> but... 
But uh, it's definitely an effective technique for a lot of people, and uh, obviously it's working really well here. Yeah, right. yeah. Like these colors are really nice. The the stitches are really well picked out and and such. I mean, each and each of those areas between the stitches has its own shading too. Mm -hmm. Like this, That's this could have easily like that. That shade follows the path of the stitches. This is something that could have easily been just kind of painted with a couple colors all over instead of mm -hmm. giving each area individual attention. Yep. That's great. I like it. Wicked colors. Well done. All right. Ah, All right, nice. Frothy Cat, you're killing me here with, with this Gorgadra. What the heck? Come on. Stop it. It's so good. It's it's smooth. It's great. These, it's so smooth. These, like, really saturated colors are just spectacular. Yeah. The, the, the armor plates and that glow are, like, real nice. Yeah, like these are – we're really liking your work, really enjoying it. Uh, I was – Pointing out, I like the uh, the candy colored rainbow eyes, dude. Skittles, Taste Skittles, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Skittle oh, eyes, man. yeah. This is this is fantastic work, man. I have to go get some like Skittles later on today. You guys are the worst. <laughs> now, this this next one, uh, that we're gonna show is, uh, I think one of one of the my recent favorites in terms of just having a theme for reference. Yes. Right. Yeah, we love reference. Yeah, especially when we love seeing the reference when you guys post videos. Yeah, or videos, uh, photos, because it's like it's really nice to see the reference and then the finished product mm -hmm. or work in progress. But like, it's really nice to see that replication done really well, and this person does a fantastic job. Oh. So Lava this is, painter. This is from Lava Added painter. Again, Han with Ball. this. Hot. Are you out of your Hot mind? Line. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so great. I'm all about this. I love this. Now, this is so dope. Now, first of all, like when when I saw this, you kind of already had me at at just the retro color scheme. Yeah. Like I love that, but I, the idea of putting that onto a model uh, and and using it to light the buildings that way because this is just, it's just Hot, super unconventional hotline color. Miami scheme. I love it so much. I don't know if if lava painters the whole, it looks like this is just a work in progress. It looks like it Yeah, he says it's a work in progress. There's going to be like a final like diorama or something, but mm -hmm. I would kill to see that thing finalized. Like just, that's yeah. spectacular. Get, get coming to lock and load. Get a star field backdrop. Bring it bring it. Bring it a lock and load, yeah. Oh for, man. Bring please. a whole display with the mo that sounds dope. If you can do it, if you can make it happen, I would love to see that. God, that is sweet. unreal. Fantastic work. But also, this is a dope idea, and uh, probably not going to steal it because I don't have time to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had time to steal it, I definitely would. This, this is, is great. This is hot. Lava Painter, thank you. Thank you, everybody else who posted photos. Yeah, keep, on, Can... keep on bringing it, guys. This stuff is super awesome. I love looking at it every Thursday morning with Tony. We just go through and we're like, oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. It's, it's, yeah, it's nice. I really appreciate it, you guys. It's inspiring. It really is. It is. It really is. It is. It's super fun. But now, let's get back to back to our grave ghoul. Back to our feature presentation. Featured presentation. This is just a presentation, my dude. Mm -mm. Get some more glow in there. Getting getting all dirty with it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just putting that color in there. All right. Let's do this. All right. So. Trying to get more of a base coat down here. This paint is very watery today. This is much more watery than I'm used to working with, but we, we will make it happen. This is good for, for wet blending, though. This is, this is that perfect kind of like wet blending consistency. This is a little bit more watery than that, but it's, it's working. It's working pretty well. All right. Oh, the other thing as well, going back to the uh, the music links, if y'all have some like dope suggestions for stuff for me to listen to, I'm totally down. To yeah, please, please that. share. I'm always down to listen to some, some fun new music. Now that you guys know what my preferences are, hit me up with that. So Josh, uh huh. Do you have do you have a a war machine army, or 
Have you just not had enough time or what have you? I mean, I have a bunch of old, old, old models that, like, haven't seen a lot of love and tender care in years. So I do. The answer is I do. I have several, right? But they were painted years and years ago. I don't get as much painting done as I'd like. But I got my protectorate. I got my Rulic Force. Oh, dude, you gotta have. We got. We gotta make it happen so you can have an army full of paladins. Uh, that dude. I. I. I mean, that's. I go to Dev every day and just. Uh, just beg. You know. I'm just like, so, please. Put your head in. Paladins. More paladins today. We're. We're. We're pretty close. I mean, with the last couple of years, we've gotten some. You have gotten a lot of sweet releases. Yeah, we're pretty. I say Josh close. because these things are all for Josh. Like I, anything paladin related is just all Josh. I mean, it is to it's the point like his his home away from home. It is true. Yeah. It it makes me feel safe. Um, I mean, it's to the point where Souls looks at me sometimes when he knows there's a paladin thing coming, and he just like shakes his head. It's just, <laughs> it's just like, and I'm just like, thank you. But I'm like, thank you. But yeah, and then speaking of paladins, we did preview a uh, mini crate um, yesterday. Oh, on that social models. media. Oh, the, the, the shield, shield sister. Yeah. Shield, shield sister. sister. Do we yeah. have a photo of that that we can show? Uh, oh, we. Um, mm, we, we would. We would have had to have been more prepared. But you can go to. Any of our social media. Oh, is it on social outlet. media? It's on what? all of them. What kind of question am I asking? I'm sure this guy <laughs> showed it around. I certainly did. Oh. In, in giddy fashion. Oh, oh man. I was Josh not. going around showing it. I was not subtle about that at all. But yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Um, I do, I do want to do more painting. I, I, I have uh, a fledgling troll blood army. Um, but I want to. I've always been wanting. Troll bloods. To, I've been wanting to get into scorn more. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. What what about Scorn excites you? Man, I just love the aesthetic. You know, yeah, pretty, I, I think they just look aesthetic. great. Um, I, and and I, the more immortal releases that come out, the more excited I get. I just love the look of the immortals in particular. I mean, Scorn are just great. Scorn are just super super dope. How about you, Tony? Do you, I know you got some stuff? Ah uh, man, I have uh, I have a protectorate army. I have a mercenaries army. That's in progress. I have a Legion army. Um, and then I have boxes upon boxes of models that I intend same. to put together Hard same. and yeah, paint. That is, that is definitely uh, a privateer that's press a staple, yeah. employee I, I, you know, thing. It was just, it's fun getting getting this stuff. We go on a shopping spree and then just get all, all the cool things, but, uh, but I, I can't keep up. I mean, I know this is a unique problem to me and not a problem mm -hmm. for other gamers and painters out there who are That's always true. have a, a direct parody one-to-one. -one. I buy it, right. and then I paint it up and, and play it before I get anything else. I imagine what a great person I'd be. <laughs> if I only bought one thing at a time and I painted it and then I bought the next thing, I'd be such a like enlightened human being. I, you know? But unfortunately, that's just not my lot in life. Yeah. Well, I've definitely woken up on a Sunday and said, you know what? From now on, no unfinished projects. Right. I'm not. I'm not buying anything new until I finish this. And then by Sunday afternoon, I've already broken that promise. Right. I'll see something and yeah. be like, yep, I'm buying that. Starting to put a little bit of this OSL down here. We're just starting to build it up. Just kind of putting putting it in place of where it should be. Becky, uh, Becky Bread says, "Did you get a chance to see my wolves for wet and dry brushing and my custom build well for Orboros just to get Jordan's professional opinion?" And neither of those sound like they. We saw them in the. Hashtag P3 Painters on Instagram. So, Becky, please let us know if you posted them somewhere different or if we uh, need to go take a second look for if, those. If I know what she's talking about, which I think I do, um, it's probably one of the ones that I saw on Facebook. If it is, it's very cool. It is very cool. But I'm not 100% sure if that's yours. So, um, post it to P3 Painters. Uh, with tag, tagging your name on it so I know which one specifically is yours. And then maybe we'll, we'll get a chance to talk about it next week. Perhaps. Yeah, like Instagram. And also try it on Twitter, too. We're, we're going to start trying to be more active on finding the hashtag P3 Painters um, tag on Twitter mm -hmm. as well. We don't see – I mean, you can do it on F Facebook. We don't see it as much. Um, so if you did it on Facebook, then we probably missed it. But yeah. – um, 
Instagram and Twitter. That's yeah, your bet. Instagram is definitely going to be the most the most the visible. most one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and going back to uh, to painting minis, Nate Brooks says, "We all know when you paint your last mini, you'll die." That is true. And I think that that must be an intuitive gamer thing because I didn't know that, but I've been living that. Right. That's what my my great grandmother told me on her deathbed. She's yeah. like, "Josh, the last mini you, when you finish your mm -hmm. army, you will die. You will join me." <laughs> In Urkane, and, and I was like, "Yes, grandmother." And that's why I'm constantly buying miniatures and not I painting them. Because I don't Because I, I, I will never die. Is this like the gamer version of that Justin Timberlake movie? In time, I can't remember the, the title of the it, but, but the more the, time yeah, you yeah, have, yeah, you listen. could live forever. It's like yeah. if I have, yeah, if I just have piles of models, yeah, un left unpainted, that uh, that's my that's my immortality project. And in, in the year four thousand eight hundred and sixty-two. You're going to find me on top of a pyramid of my unpainted <laughs> models. But I'll still be alive. I'll be a god king. <laughs> That's you know, taking, our, taking the army into the afterlife, right? Yeah. We're, we're building it up now. Yeah, except I'll never die. I'll get, right. to, see, I'll get to see the, the sun eat the earth. You know what I mean? Oh, I almost got you to spit out. That's good. I made me. That would have been. I almost got picture. you to spit. That was good time. timing. That's good. Good, good job, Josh. Thank I'm you. so glad that that's our our goal in life is that to is. make Tony spit out his drink. Look at that purple hat. It's so jaunty. I love it. Oh, look at that grave cool. A little glow. Yeah, sorry. It's kind of kind of hard to see from that angle. It's all right. I'm left-handed, so I always want to keep the model. Oh my god! I just noticed. I've worked with you for two years. I just noticed you're left-handed. Oh my god! What a great friend I am. Yeah. And a great co <laughs> no, me, me too. I didn't notice until uh, the first time we sat down <laughs> to get your pen on. Yeah. And oh about, my god! About so twenty minutes problems. before we go live, he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm left-handed. Camera's oh on the wrong my side." My <laughs> god. It's very true. <laughs> so Tony was like, "Oh, that changes everything." <laughs> Man, that's a great topic for like a. Uh, like a painting, little painting video, like the struggles of the left-handed miniatures painter. Are there any struggle? struggles of a left-handed miniatures painter? I guarantee you struggles they have to be. The left-handed person. Uh, like, man, be. if you are left-handed and you've ever tried to use a spiral notebook, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't even need to continue talking because it sucks. Your hand hurts, man. Southpaw Those painters things, in the chat, dude, sound off. Do you have left-handed yeah, problems yeah, doing man. any uh, any left miniatures painting? Left-handed problems, man. It's the worst. It's like the Ned Flanders left hand <laughs> sore. Right, right. <laughs> it's the worst. It makes me so angry. They make left-handed ones, but like not not really. Do you have? Have you ever tried left-handed scissors? <laughs> no, I just use the ambidextrous scissors if I can uh. get them, or just struggle through using right-handed scissors, which is actually painful. All right, there's we're 40 minutes in. Oh, get to out of our town. our stream today. Time is just but, flying by. But there's something that uh, that we haven't done yet. There's a feature we haven't touched mm -hmm. yet. Okay, we ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have the volume up. Hold on. I'm sorry, folks. All right, jeez. These are all still on. Now. Please burr, burr, ignore. Burr, burr, burr. Don't look. We look are, away. Listen, look away. Listen to me. Listen this, to today me. Today is not going listen well. Listen to me. We are a whale oil machine today, okay? We are great. Hold on. Start over. Start over. Do How's over. everything going, Josh? Molly, oh, what did you have for great. breakfast oh, this morning? Man. Oh, it was good. Oh, um, it was good. Right, I, have, I had shame and fear for uh -huh. breakfast. My shame usual, and fear. My usual. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, I just. Get, I was going to get my trim figure. <laughs> oh, okay. You didn't have to laugh that hard at that. I okay, just, never mind. I just had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sustain on the void. All right. Hey, it's been 45 minutes. Since uh, since we started, I think it's time we have for a surprise for everybody. Yeah. Kind of got there. Look at that, Doug. They're actually lying to you, though. All of these C facts are actually C wrong facts. <laughs> <laughs> Doug C cat C facts. Doug C cat C facts. This could have this could have gone smoother. Especially uh, since this is not the first time we've ever tried to do this. Just wait until after the show. All right. Um, I'm going to flip tables. Oh, I'm it's gonna going to be great. To, I'm going just like, what kind of a unprofessional crap fest are we running here? Um, so let's see, let's, let's see if we get through this. Okay. So each week we have our lead writer, Doug Seacat, mm -hmm. uh, hit us up with um, uh, some trivia based on the painting topic mm -hmm. of that week's show right so this week we had him to uh got him to write some stuff on the grave ghoul 
And so we're going to ask some questions, and then our intrepid audience members will take some guesses as to what they think the answer is, and then we'll reveal the true answer, and I'll take credit for it. Sounds good. Okay, let's see. School everybody. So question one, what do grave ghouls think of the undead? What do you think? What do you think is something that deals with exhuming bodies? What do you think? they're fashionable. You think they you, th- you think they're they're pro undead? You think they're cool? Oh yeah, dude. I think they totally think that they're fashionable. Like oh, they're yeah. like they're upgrades. Like these ones move by themselves. Uh, it, it, it's it's definitely maybe the thing. That it's like cheating. It's like oh man, this is like the easy mode. They I, I don't have to do any digging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's possible. It unearths itself. Doesn't that take the fun out of it though? Maybe like, it does. If you, maybe you wander it does. around. You like digging up stuff. It's kind of it's kind of like I uh I don't I, I don't like pre painted. Miniatures, like I don't, I don't like other people painting my miniatures. It just feels weird to get them when they're mm-hmm. when they're painted. It wouldn't mm-hmm. be the same. I I have to do that work myself. You take the fun out of it if uh, if I don't get to do it. While I, on the other hand, love to have all my work done for <laughs> me, and I, the less work I can do, the better. All right, chat. What do you think? Do grave ghouls think of the undead? Jordan, yay or nay? Jordan, what are you mixing up right now? Uh, all right, so this is Umbral Umber, Bastion Gray, and a little bit of Coal Black. And we're going to do his, like, well, I guess this is part of his shirt. Nope, nope, we're going to do this brown, because I feel like it. I'm going to make his little... Oh God, I'm I'm breaking everything. Oh no. Um painting his little like his uh Sh- his pants and his arm. Umbral umber, bastion gray. His umbral umber, bastion gray, and a little bit of coal black. Coal black. Mostly because I want to work more on this uh this fancy glow that we got going on here. And that requires me to put a little more paint on the model. Striker 911 says uh, apparently that they like the undead because they need guests for the fancy party at Tongue Lick's house. Hey, man, that is about the best guess that I can imagine. Let's see what the answer is because we'll have two more to do after mm-hmm. this. I bet you I also, I also like right. Vance Agti's answer. They're tasty. They're tasty, yeah. All right, hold on. Give me a sec. Tony, you missed a mold line on this. I'm a little, a little hurt. <sighs> Why do you have to reveal my shame? I mean, the camera reveals your shame. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest. So the answer is. The answer is. Right. They don't like them because they move around too much. <laughs> they move around too much. Instead of doing what they're supposed to be doing, which is just lying nice and still, they prefer things that are actually dead over either undead or things that are alive, right? So grave ghouls, they want you dead. Deader than dead. You know what I mean? Like, they don't want any, like, a half-weird in-between. You're dead, but you're not. And they also don't like it when you're, you know, breathing and pumping blood. That's also, like, weird to them. Yeah, you're undead. Yeah. You're the opposite of dead. Yeah, they... You they are alive, and that's not cool, too. They just want the curiosities of moving your dead uncle's corpse around and... Waving it around. Maybe they're just anxious about their personal space. Like I set you over here, when I and set you down, you're not there. And when I turn around, yeah, you're not. I want the, you in the same spot. It true. freaks me out if you're somewhere different. That I don't like true. that at all. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't know where I am, and I don't feel safe. I like to imagine that grave ghouls are pretty skittish. Yeah, they don't like. Also, it it did just occur to me that I'm like painting the worst colors possible for visibility on stream. But it's looking great, though. It's it so looks hard amazing. To see I'm sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. I'm letting you down. All right, next question. Next question. What is a grave ghoul's favorite thing to do when not digging up bodies? This is a hard yeah. one. When, I, when I, not digging up bodies. Yeah, because I think that they go out of their way to spend most of their time. 
thing about it. Right. So it's like, what do you do when you're not doing your favorite hobby? Your your favorite thing. Like I, uh, you know, one of my favorite things to do is to write fiction and narrative for private press. Um, but when I'm not doing that, I am a semi-professional basketball player. Nice. People don't know that about me. But now you've learned it. Did you say basketball? Yeah, I did. What of it? You can't prove that I'm not. You can't prove that you are? I, I can, but I don't have to. I don't have mm-hmm. to prove anything to anyone. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm independent. That's true. You are an independent man. Look at that nice purple. I'm going to start calling you Jump Shot Josh now. Jump oh, that's, that's what um, my very professional coach also called me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my teammates called me in the court, right? <laughs> what? I don't know why everyone's laughing so hard. It's because it's funny. <laughs> it's, uh, thank you. I, but it shouldn't be funny because it's real. <laughs> reality is not funny. Reality is sad. Funny. There should only be sad about reality. <laughs> Josh. Oh, Josh, I love you so much. You're so funny. <laughs> Oh, getting heat. Striker 911. I got a lot of things to do, like set up for streams and make sure CFAX are shown on stream correctly. This is, this, this is you know what? I, I, this is my third strike. This, this is it. This You're is on my time third out, man. Strike You're on that. time out. Dude, you even like gave away an answer the other day, like way earlier than it was supposed every, to be. Given. Every week for the last three weeks? <laughs> This is like unacceptable. Every week for the truly, last three weeks, I've previewed an answer. Today was the worst. It was all of them at the same time. <laughs> oh. I'm so glad I'm not looking at the screen, Tony, because I'm going to blame was, the software. I'd be just, ashamed. I just, would be ashamed. I'm gonna, yeah, truly, I'm going to do it. I really would be ashamed. I'll defend Tony, even though Tony never defends me about anything. It, it's, a, it's a technical glitch. It was a technical glitch. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. There was like some sparks happening. It was all a problem. Rikers Island, the, the pilot's checklist. I, the sad part is Wait. I do have a pilot's checklist oh, were, for doing and the live stream, it. and, on, and they just on. slipped through. There were sparks. We need to leave. This place is going to get on fire. What, what are you, afraid? I'm, I, I, I'm terrified, okay? I, I, when you know I what? signed up, you I was... You can't tell me I'm not terrified. I was ready to go down with the ship, man. I will <laughs> go. I, am a, I, won't, I would rather die than leave these people without delicious streaming content. <laughs> You heard it here first. Josh going to the ends of the earth. That's true. And then the under earth. That's true. I gave up a lucrative basketball career <laughs> to come here Jeez. and work at Privateer Press, okay? Josh, I'm so sorry for you. Yeah, man. All right. All right, the answer, right? Hold on, hold on. let me get ready so I don't screw okay. this up okay. yet again. Okay. So as if, what is the Grave Ghoul's favorite thing to do? Yeah. So there's two answers. The first one is they quite enjoy driving the death knell around, which I, I kind of spoiled earlier. Whoopsie. Sorry, Doug. I know he's listening, and mm-hmm. like I'm sure going to get some texts about how much I suck. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not having a panic attack right now. Anyway, and part— I, Well, I just like the idea that they just like cruising. They do, man. They like to go for the night yeah. drives, you know? Yeah. And and But again, that's sad horse. They, Crank up the bass drum and the yeah. trombone. Well, they've got, yeah, like on the gremlin that's playing yeah. the trombone. And I think there's like a guy with drums or something. I mean, it's pretty good. Um, and then answer B is burying people is almost as much fun as digging them up, particularly if their target is still alive. Yeah. So they, you know, they like to, you know, they like to dig people up, right? And bury them, right? Like, like, they like to dig up corpses, but they don't mind burying people. To make future corpses, you know what I mean? I would like to point out how amazing this is. Like, imagine this if this is your like your favorite thing in the world to do. And then your second favorite thing in the world to do is More resetting your first favorite thing to do. Right. It's like a never-ending loop. You're like, oh, right. I'm getting a super, you know, a lot of dopamine from doing this, and then right. a little less dopamine a from doing that. But it just prepares me to get dopamine from the first thing. It's like if your favorite thing to do was paint miniatures and your uh-huh. second one was like cleaning up cleaning after and assembling after and cleaning yourself. up yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i love eating 
My second favorite thing, doing dishes. That's true. Man, that's that absolutely would, not that true at all. That would be so all. great. Get, 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 third question. So the third okay, question. third question. Okay. What sort of expertise do Grave Ghouls have with Iron Kingdom's funerary rites? Think about it. Think about it. Like, do they make really good undertakers? Are they um, familiar with, let's say, uh, the Reclaimer Order's um, you know, rites and rituals for burying the undead, you know, the men and undead? I mean, do they? Do they give eulogies? Do they? Uh, I would pay money to listen to a grave ghoul give a eulogy for an Iron Kingdom's character. It's probably just five, like a five-minute long sigh. Just <laughs> five minute long. Oh, uh, you know that's true. I I bet they sound really creepy. I, oh. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks, Doug. Man, Doug C. You know, is relentless. Man, cool. look. Yes, we didn't have an editor look at these. Okay. Yes, rights was spelled wrong. We do. There's a lot going on. I do these right before the show. Uh, you, no, you know what? Defend myself. I blame Doug because I think Doug sends these to us directly, and Tony uh, just pulls them out and posts them in there. So in, maybe Doug spelled it. Right. <laughs> Look at Tony's that's, face. Maybe it's Doug incorrect, but let's say it's not. <laughs> yeah. Let's say that is correct. That is, what, that is exactly yeah. what happens. Then I don't type these in by hand after yeah. after Doug sends them. No, I there's there's some headcanon going on in my no, brain. No, you right know now. what it was? It was autocorrect. That's my final auto answer. Autocorrected. <laughs> that's my final answer. Autocorrect is my final answer. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Oh, God, we're just geez. this is just do we do we have to post this episode after we're done today? I, th I think this is I rather not. I'd rather I, just keep I'd this one. Not. I'd rather just archive this one. At least make it make a few edits to make myself look better. I mean, why well, the amount of editing around we're gonna have to do between the both of us. <laughs> I might just not it may like be like a three minute episode. <laughs> Take away this fancy fancy painting that we're doing too. Just delete it all. The whole thing. You guys who are in the chat are so exclusively Like I'm the social media guy. I can make the call. I could say, you know I what, this episode's a mulligan. Call. We're not we're not that posting. Is, that Josh is true. Josh made the call. Yeah. This episode has been buried under a mountain of But wait, I'm the video producer, so I don't I get to decide which videos nope. go and where? No, nope. no. Nope. Not sure. You get to make them, but I have to decide where they're posted. Well, uh, what the viewers don't know is that any stalemates between us, like is happening right mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. is, is determined by a uh, me. half court basketball match. Nope. Uh, sorry, well, determined by me. Too bad, dude. You are going to lose, man. My jump shot, my three point game is on. Now, you know what, Josh? Oh, I want to see this. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe uh, next you, week. You and Tony are going to play horse. Oh, I hurt myself. <laughs> oh, no. I hurt myself. Then you lose. Oh, no. If you can't take care of yourself enough, to appear it's an old injury right i hurt my at uh, your designated spot in the designated <laughs> time then you just lose i hurt my uh i tore my acl or something I yeah or that's, something. The one. that's the one i don't even know <laughs> it's an old i don't injury, know what man. it is all right you ready Sorry, for folks, that oh the answer we're here for that last answer that's yeah, the last answer um so the answer is not much their actions have no real v ritual value. Um, their actions resemble a shadow play of folk tales and about undertakers, having no real ritual value. No one is considered properly handled after the grave ghouls have either dug them up or buried them. Yeah, it's like, you know, I don't think, like, you know, really pious Morrowinds, like, you know, they do this big, they're setting up to bury their, you know, their family members. They, they look away for a second, they look back, and there's a grave ghoul, like, Messing around with it, and the other thing is, we like, oh, you know what? He's got it. This one's, he's got it. Like, yeah, the grave ghoul. Yeah, he's this. He'll take it from here. No, Just digs the hole, plunks it down, yeah. kicks some dirt over the top, calls it good. Yeah, no, no. I, I think the Morrowind priest would probably be pretty upset. Yeah, and try to banish it or something. Well, it's just it's not a good use of time, right? He's got. Man, he's got death nails to drive, and you've seen the movie Wedding Crashers. It's like funeral <laughs> crashers in the Iron <laughs> Kingdoms. You know, it's like that. I would pay money for that movie, right? Uh, uh, like a grave ghoul and a reclaimer, right? Two like unlikely buddies <laughs> going around funerals in the Iron Kingdoms. I, that'd be a good short story. Doug, make that happen. No, you write it. No, he's the one. He's the big man on campus. No, but you're 
You're also the big man on campus. No, I'm not. I'm the little gold flip fish man. Gold flip? Gold flip man. Gold flip man. I do as I'm told. We do need to say thank you for to Doug. Doug Seacat, thank you so much. Thank you, Doug. For your C facts. You, no, thank you, Doug, for the C facts. You are a, a fountain of wisdom and creativity, and it's an honor to work with you every day. Don't, don't let that get to your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's go look at that purple. I love yeah, let's, that purple. Take a look, let's take a look at this progress. Show off this progress so far. Oh, that's so sexy. I love it. See, that's looking good. Yeah, we got the purple. We got a, l- a whole ton of glow in there. Figure this guy's like walking through the the graveyard at night. He's got his, his blue glow going on. Mm-hmm. He's just being all fancy and hanging out. Should we bring him back next week to do some more work? Because there's like it's not even a matter of just being unfinished. There's a lot more yeah, that's man. like could be very different going on, on here. You have the body bags. Yeah, on buddy, there. I, I wanna see what you do the next whole time for uh, real. the shovel. Okay, all right. I mean it's I it sounds like I know what everybody in here wants. How about chat? What are you guys feeling? What do you, what do you, what's chat feel? Like? They're like, go back to King Kondo. <laughs> go back to King Kondo. <laughs> I want him back. What are you guys feeling? Do you guys want some more Grave Ghoul next week? Or do you want something new? What do you think? But it's not going to be too new. Something new. Well, we're getting some people want to see it finished here and there. Crack and Octus. I'm sorry, Rikers Iron. I'm putting my foot down. I'm not doing Crack, crack and Octus. I can't do it. Can't do it. You had a hard time. Not a hard, a hard time. time but it's you, also it's also a difficult model a to put on the bit. camera. It, yeah, that that model is all over the place. Bring him back. Bring Someone him. wants a new. Someone wants a primal archon. You'd could like to you know about wait? the paint on your Reach thing. for the stars, Jeez, Jeff. Out of the you gate. Just wait a little just bit. Just what? get it. I missed. What's up? So one asked for the primal archon next. I'm like, oh, would you wait? Yeah, yeah. Just like give us like 15 Dude, minutes, man. Uh, let me tell you, if I could do that for you, I would do that because that model is dead. And then I, I and then I'd immediately yeah. stop you because that's way too early. You know, but it's so cool. <laughs> if if you don't know, we kind of mentioned it a little at the top of the episode. But if if you don't know already and haven't seen it, yesterday there was a developer hangout for the launch of the Oblivion CID where they showed off concept art mm-hmm. for nearly all of the archons. We don't yeah, have now piece of art to show off yeah. for every single one, but yeah, I think there were five or six that we yeah. that uh, we did preview. So yeah. if you want to see what uh, what those look like, uh, you can go to Privateer Press Prime on our YouTube channel mm-hmm. and you can see or on Twitch and uh, you can watch that episode and take a look at the, what those models look like. Markers aren't you, I'm not going to show you the Josh faction. I'm not going to show it to you. The Boy Jackson. Not. It's just a lot of Joshes. Just oh. a lot of. It's just like, man, if you wanted a Warcaster that was Josh. How disappointing would it be if the long rumored kingdom of Zoo is just a bunch of me's walking around, <laughs> like holding autographs for Paladins of the Order of the Wall? Like that'd be. <laughs> man. I mean, it might sell to like three people, but like. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, so it sounds like we're getting a lot of bring him backs. Yeah, I mean, and again, and then, yeah, I, I like to see him for, like, part two, okay, and then we can move right. on to something new after. So we'll bring, him, we'll, we'll bring him back for part two, and then I'm going to do a little bit of hunting down, seeing what I can bring in the next week. That sounds great. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank you again. It's time for me to go do some other work. Maybe eat some food. We're glad you enjoyed it, and we also apologize profusely for everything you saw and heard today. I apologize for nothing. Oh, I don't God. know. I'm not. But, but I'll try to be Ain't a better no person next week. Me. As head of social today media, I apologize for Tony's unprofessionalism. <laughs> um, that was just uncalled for. <laughs> yeah, dude. How dare you? I know. How dare you? I won't, I won't be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch me Good try luck. and struggle through. Tony, I need you. We I all need, need you, Tony. Tony. We all need you. We need you, Tony. We love Thank, Tony. Thanks for showing up, everybody. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Action. Bye-bye.